Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you how to filter through a large table of information in Excel and easily bring back maybe the top 10 regions of sales in descending order and have a chart that dynamically updates as you change this number. I can change it maybe to the top five regions. Or we can go the other way around and get the bottom sales, the bottom 10 regions, or maybe the bottom eight regions. And again, this chart is dynamically updating as we're selecting this number. Everything here is dynamic. So I'll go into row 13, Atlanta, Georgia. Currently has 14,000 in sales and is appearing in this bottom sales list. If I change this to 100,000 in sales, it should disappear from the bottom sales list and now appear right at the top of the sales list for the highest region in sales. Press enter, and it does, there it is. And it's also updated dynamically on this chart below. And it's now the highest sales. So it's really simple, it's really easy. I'm gonna show you how it's done very quickly. So just pause and rewind if you need to. So we'll go into sheet two and show you how this is done. Now I'm not gonna build this using a filter function. I'm gonna combine a couple of other functions in Excel, but they're really easy and really simple to use. So let's start with the take function, equals take, open brackets. We're going to filter or use this array of data from B3 to C97, comma, and the second part of the formula is how many rows do I want to bring back? I want to bring back 10. Close the brackets. So what it's doing, it's going back into that table and just bringing me back the top 10 rows. Not in any order, just the top 10 as it is. So what we want to do next is get that original list in order from highest to lowest. So we'll start with the sort function, equals sort, open brackets. The array is the same, B3 to C97, comma, and the next part of the formula is the sort index, which references what column do we want to sort by. We've only got two columns in our table, and we want to sort by the second column, which is sales. And the third part of the formula is do we want it in ascending or descending order? We'll type in negative one for descending. If you want a descending, it'd be one. Press enter, and now we have that original table in order from highest to lowest. So what we want to do now is combine those two tables. We want the top 10 in order. So let's do that, let's combine those two functions. Equals take, now the array is that resulting table that we had from the sort function. So we're gonna nest in the sort function, equals sort. Start again, use that same reference cell for the array, B3 to C97, comma, sort by column two in negative order. And now we're back to the take function and we wanna get the top 10. We want to get the top 10 rows. Close the brackets. And now we've got that order. We've got the top 10 customers in order from highest to lowest. But we want that to be dynamic and we want to reference this cell O2. So we'll go back into the formula. Instead of typing 10, we're going to delete that and reference cell O2. And now we've got the top 10 customers, or we can change that dynamically by selecting eight. And now we've got the top eight customers. Very simple, very easy. Now on the other sheet, we also had the bottom 10 customers. So how this is done, and I'll show you using the sort function, instead of negative one at the end, where it's in descending order, we're gonna just change that to one. And now it's in ascending order, lowest to highest. So we'll do that in the combined formula as well. We'll go and change that negative one to one. And now we've got the bottom 10 customers. And we can change this to the bottom seven customers. So it's really easy, really simple. I'll quickly change it back to negative one. So we've got those top 10 or top customers based on our selection. Now I just have to point out now, there is a limitation by using a range instead of a table. And that is if we wanna change this table, this original table and add a new city or a new region, let's call it AAAA and give it 99,000 in sales, which means it should be in that top list. It should be the second on the list but it's not appearing. And that's because that original formula has a range of B3 to C97. So we need to change this into a table. So let's go back into the original table, just click anywhere, go up to insert in the ribbon and select table. It's now selecting the table with that new range down to C98. So let's press okay. And it's turned it into a table. We'll go back to the formula and change the reference from B3 to C98 and now it's selecting the whole table, and AAA is appearing. And just to make sure this is now dynamic, we'll go back down into the table, we'll add in a new 
city called BBBB and give it 98,000 in sales. And let's see if it now automatically appears on that top 10 list, which it does. So it's really simple and I like using tables. It just gives it that little bit of an extra feature. Now the final part, if you remember on that original sheet was we had that dynamic chart. Now this is probably the easiest part. I'm gonna show you really quickly. So let's click into that table again, or that final result on that formula. We'll go back up into the ribbon, go to insert, scroll over to the chart section, and I'm just gonna select a really easy 2D column chart. And you can see it's created that table. But if I change it from 10 and do the top five, that chart is now automatically changed as well and given me that top five customers or top five regions in a chart. So everything is now dynamic. I hope you really enjoyed this. I use it all the time. If you did, please subscribe, click that like button. See you next time.